What's one of the craziest away days that you've had, either be it in England <laughs> or internationally? Um, gosh, I think there has been so many. Um, you could go club or international. I'll go international first. Yeah. Um, you got, got. I think you got two extremes. Um, you've got the and we we reiterated it about all the time. Aztec Arena yeah, or the Rose Bowl, crazy, the yeah. Mexicans when we played them both at both places. Yeah. It's an element. You, you sometimes you don't know how to deal with. It. Especially that Rose Bowl when when they everyone was, you know when we went through into the stadium and yeah. they're all cooking on the back of their cars. It, it was and that. weird, like you yeah, having well, barbecues, weren't it? Just smelled of barbecue food. Ah, it was lovely. <laughs> but you're thinking, all right, we'll see some, we'll see some US people or some Americans yeah. around. Nothing. Oh, no, who you didn't? You saw Mexicans left, right, and centre everywhere, and they yeah. packed up the stadium. Yeah, that was ninety thousand, wasn't it? Ninety thousand. Oh, yeah. It was, it, that was the first big, big game for me. And then Aztec was one hundred and seven thousand. Yeah. yeah, and you, you think this is just crazy. The passion they had, the yeah. love they had for the game was fantastic. Um, so they're the great away games yeah. that you get to go on. Um, like the Peru one. Peru. Same again. I think I think it's the culture of yeah, there. They yeah. live and breathe football, yeah, yeah. or they live and breathe sport. Uh, but it is football. One of those. It's almost places. like tribal, isn't it? It's like it's, life and it's death. in their blood. Yeah, it is in their blood, Religion, and yeah. they love it. They will they will live and breathe and die for it. Um, the Peru as a bus going through, banging on the side, yeah. everything like that. Do you remember the snake charmer though? You're standing on your head. Yeah. And the team photo. <laughs> <laughs> They're weird people, but they, that's how much they cared and yeah, they loved, loved it. it yeah. That's so different. Um, so I had some great away things and then you, you, you have the bad ones. Or the, yeah. well, I, I wouldn't say the bad ones. No, it's just would, experiences. Yeah. When you go to the islands, tough, yeah, tough, tough conditions. Tough, 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 tough yeah. conditions um, both on the pitch, off the pitch, where you have to stay, what you actually see, the, the well, in, in some cases, is poverty, yeah. um, which is which is horrible to see, and you have to kind of deal with it when you're moving in on a bus with your nice bag yeah. or you, you have good shoes on, and, and you see people bare feet running around the streets yeah. with no clothes on. It's it's tough to, to mentally deal with. Yeah, but I remember that pitch in Honiara when it was just they played every single game on that pitch. It was the hardest pitch. It was like it was like playing on concrete. Oh, it was horrible. And um, two four weeks of it. And divots day. would be uh, replaced with uh, stones yeah. and sprayed with green sprayed paint. Green paint. Oh, it's ridiculous. And by, <laughs> it's just like yeah, it's crazy things. Like we, we go from extreme one extreme to the other isn't it you get you get the mexico uh, peru and then you get the solomon islands yeah. and it's just but what about in england uh england um most the place that you go and you think wow i can't you know i'm glad i left there oh, gosh um Millwall's a tough place Mill, Millwall was a, Millwall was a tough place um but for me when i was there i had the best time yeah um we were sixth in the league yeah mill would never really been near sixth in the league yeah, and things yeah. like that, except for the last couple of seasons we were firing. I was scoring goals. I got like eleven and nineteen there. Yeah, so you huge. I was on the peak, and yeah, I never got to see the bad side of. Leeds, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I got to see the bad side of Leeds. Oh, okay. Um. So I saw the the tough, the the horrible side city. of fans. Yeah, it's yeah. a tough side. Oh, hundred percent. They they're so passionate. They they think and assume they should be top four team in the Premier League. Yeah. And when they're in the Championship, they just batter players left, right, and centre. Yeah. I remember people getting booed. People getting absolutely ridiculed and it forced them out of the club yeah because at the start though what you you were you were struggling a little bit weren't you at the start just to get your feet and then the last season you just boomed yeah i mean i i, I hadn't played for 16 months at leicester because it was the time when we were in yeah. the premier league um obviously i was 21 at the time um and just wasn't picked so i went to to leeds and i had to start playing every week and it was different it was, it was trying to get back to football loving yeah. football again yeah and yeah, your fitness, fitness and very difficult, isn't scoring. it? Coming back from a uh, injury, then you're at a big club where yeah. people expect things from you, and you're coming back from injury and you're playing, still trying to catch oh, up. So. I, actually, I was there that game. Do you remember when I came to watch you? I remember it was a and you just got back from injury. Yeah, and okay. it was a tough game for you. Yeah. But got I mean, but, you, yeah, yeah. but you got you got out of it, and that's the mental strength, isn't Look, it? I th I think that's where that is. No, that was without a shadow of a doubt where I learned my yeah. my, my strength and my mental capacity. Um, I got booed for four months by fans on the pitch every single time I touched the ball. Yeah. Um, and it, it's weird. I was the top goal scorer. I scored thirteen that season in the in the league. And still booing you. And they were still booing me, and that was the most someone had ever scored for the last six years. Yeah. And. I was like, all right, it's time to just knuckle down, leave them behind, focus on me. Yeah, yeah. And boom, it came together. 
And, and that's, that's the mentality that's the of, a, of a champion though, isn't it? Well, I, it's, a, it's a mentality I think you've got to have. You've got to think, I don't care what you say, I'm proving you wrong. Yeah, yeah. And it, make, it makes it work in the end. And you can only then you can only look at yourself and, and say, I gave it all. I didn't shy away. I didn't cop out. Um, I went for it and, and gave everything. Who was your toughest opponent? Oh, gosh. Because um, you must have had a few. Yeah, definitely. Um, modern day right now, Van yeah. Dyke. Van Dyke, I, okay. It, he, he is everything and machine. more than what they say. Machine. He is. Poor. He's Rolls Royce. Yeah. He is Rolls Royce. But the, the one that I remember um, was always tough was Skirtle. Oh, yeah. Um, he was, and we played him at the World Cup as well, yeah, weren't he? And I remember yeah. playing him and he was, he, tough. He was tough. He was, he, was, he was tough. He didn't leave you alone. I don't know if he did this to you, but I remember playing up against him. He's there. He's yeah, yeah, pinching yeah, yeah, you. Yeah, he's yeah, grabbing yeah, you. Yeah, and yeah. I'm like, are you leave me alone? He's yeah. like, just kept doing a game after game. And after the game, I'm like, well, he get away from a game. I'm thinking about why is he pinching me? Why is he touching me? It's like, <laughs> then I'm missing the ball going past me. So uh, he was a great defender and just solid, strong. Yeah, uh, he was something different. But have you ever been bitten by a defender? <laughs> I have. <laughs> Luckily, I haven't. But that's an interesting story. Oh, maybe for gosh, another time. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I was like, what the heck? So it just bit me. <laughs> but I went like that. I went, get off. Got him straight. Yeah, back. I got, I got him. I was like, get off. Because in England, like people will not realise how, not as much now, but when we came into the game, it was it was, physical, it was yeah, brutal. It was brutal. You, could, yeah. you could get it, not get away with it. It, it was just, you just more, more straight, lenient, more straight. Yeah, yeah. They, they they let it go by the by the wayside. Sometimes you could get your arms up, you could use your body, you could absolutely jump all over someone. Yeah, and it wouldn't get caught a foul, and that's a brilliant thing about it. Yeah, that's why I think we've done so well over there. <laughs> we didn't have any technical boots. We were there bullying people. Yeah. 